JK. Hey guys, what is up? My name is DJK. We are doing another review today. We're up in the studio. We've got some gravity. Now I know you're thinking gravity. Hang on, what? Dropping apples? No. We've got gravity stands. We've got a gravity bag. We've got the um, sub poles and we've got the actual uh, tripod stands that we're going to get out. I've been using them for a while. Get them on the table. Take a look at them. See what we think. So guys, we're going to start off talking about the bag itself. Now, the bag itself is a Gravity BGSS2B transport bag, they call it. Now, it's supposed to be for just two of the stands. Um, I've also got my sub poles in there. Don't tell anyone. So, let's start talking about the bag, shall we? Firstly, your handle here. I mean, I've the first bag I had was like a really cheap bag that came free with my stands. So... I wasn't sure what to expect. I used my um used Darren's bag before and that was again that was an okay bag. It was like 20 30 qu 20 quid odd. Um I've kind of thrown in there and it was okay. It was good and it made me realize how bad my other one was. So I had kind of high expectations of this with the cost. Um at the moment it's kind of retailing around the 34 pound mark. So I kind of I was hoping for 34 pounds I was going to get something good. And I was very pleased. Um it's one of those things where you open it up and you know you've bought something good because you can feel the quality. I don't mind spending money when I can feel the quality of an item and that's what I got with this. So the strap itself is nicely padded on the handle. Got lots of padding there. It's obviously branded nicely up with the, uh, the gravity signs on the side there. Um, side and side. And if we flip it over, it's got a solid floor there with the... Uh, Rubber bits there to kind of help it stay and not move and kind of shuffle around everywhere, which is nice. The material itself around the edges is really nice and thick. So if we pop that open and then this zip, I, it sounds so weird, but I love the zip. Now, if I angle this up a little bit towards you, you can kind of hopefully see it's got this elastic, not this elastic, velcro strap here that opens that bit up and it's little carry handle just there. So we're going to do the velcro. We're going to pop it down. And again, we've got this nice double pull to bring it across. That's there. And that opens up. And as you can kind of hopefully see, this is really nice, thick, padded protection here. Really good, really impressive. And now, you may or may not like the green. I absolutely love the green. I love how green it is. It's fantastic. Um, some people might not. I like it. But again, all of this, this side here is really nice and padded. This middle divider is so good. It's so padded. As you can kind of see in the side there, I don't know, perhaps you might. There's also the, uh, the name of the product there, just in case you don't know what you've brought. And again, if I just reattach that bit there, so unattach that and then so there, this bit does come out um, a little bit it's uh, attached to the bottom but these bits come off to give you a bit more movement with the um, the options of your configuration so we'll pop that back and we'll pop that back there so for the bag itself very impressive very good very strong very sturdy and I mean, this has been in the back of my van. It's been thrown around all over the place. It's got more in it than it probably should do. And you couldn't really tell. It's held up very, very well. Much better than my other one had. Um, so yeah, very impressed with this bag. The bag itself, can't fault. I, I don't regret buying it, let's put it that way, which for me is really important. So, we're gonna move on to these sub poles. Now, these ones here are the Gravity SP3322B adjustable poles. Bit of a mouthful. Now, really quickly, we're just gonna talk about these little clips, okay? These clips here, hopefully you can see that okay. Now, these don't come as standard. You have to buy these. I think they're like a couple of quid for a pack of two of them. Buy them, get them, use them. They literally, just clip on and they help run your cables through that little bit there. So much better, it makes your cabling so much neater, 
so better. So just it's so much better. Really recommend buying them. So anyway, this one here is the speaker pole for the 35 mil. Um, obviously standard one on the end here. We don't have the um, the M8, I think it is, drill bit attached. Not drill bit, but you know what I mean there um, for that. So you've got a little bit of this rubber here, which allows you to kind of slide it off and on. It keeps your, uh, keeps your sub protected. This here is, again, well made, good quality. I'm loving the logo on the bottom there. The pole, solid. It's a, it's a, it's a solid bit of metal kind of thing. Um, and obviously you've got the end here again. That's also gravity branded like that. I mean in terms of a sp sp sub pole, it's sub pole, right? You can't really do too much wrong. It's just a pole Obviously, it's got its gravity branding all over the place Like you would kind of expect with them now the bits that really make this stand out for me that I really like That kind of make this the 20 pounds per pole that it is this is gonna sound really weird, but I absolutely love this here. Most of them are just generally kind of attached a little bit like this, or they're not attached at all. This has got this little rubber bit around the pole, which this just goes straight into to keep it safe and secure. Stops it falling around in the bag. Now, obviously wear and tear, it will eventually move out and all that, or you forget at the end of the night to put it in, but for the most part, it works really well at helping keeping it in place. With these, obviously, you twisting this bit here, you extend it out to however, however long you want, then you tighten it up using this twisty bit here. It just tightens up to there. Obviously, I'd put my safety chain in to there, but there it is. Then this gets tightened nicely up to be where I want it to be. I mean, I'm having to really move that to get that to go. And that's not as tight as I could easily get this. So you can kind of see how good this works. So as a sub pole, again, I can't fault it. Is it 20 pounds good? Bah, maybe, maybe not. I would probably want to pay more on the 15, point, 15 pounds marker. I think I got these for about 17 actually. And I was kind of happy paying 17. Ideally, I'd want about 15, but yeah. Very good, very sturdy. I can feel the weight of it. Let's put it that way. I've had ones which are just basically a block of metal, um, which is just a hollow tube, and they are rubbish. These are so much better. It makes your setup look so much more professional. Very much recommended. Now, moving on. We have got the Gravity SP5211. B speaker pole. Now, I'll be honest, I've not really used this as much as I have my sub poles because most of my gigs I take my subs and my tops and I use them. But similar things apply to this as they do with the sub poles. We can hopefully see you've got your markings at the bottom there. We've got our markings and our branding here. We've got our very helpful little chain which has our wonderful bit there which really again i can't say how much i love that um and again to loosen this off it's done by the little swivelly thing here and the swivelly thing up here so that allows me to extend this out there and extend the other one out at the top which makes life so much easier it goes really, really smoothly. I'm gonna just change the view and you guys can see a bit more what I mean. So with the pole, we've got it here. Obviously this is very good, very easy. Turns, in, done. Really simple, really easy. As you can kind of see, this bit here, if I just loosen that off there and if I just pop this bit down here, this works incredibly easily so there in back simple and again if I just open that up pop that there again I don't want my speaker pole like that but it can go like that if I want ideally obviously as everyone kind of knows decent positioning you want that as low as we can 
to the floor. So it can go at a very wide base. Strong and sturdy. Just what you want. If you're gonna have people coming, obviously I haven't tightened this up, but if people are coming along, knocking into this, it's gonna hold, it's gonna be strong, it's gonna work for you. And again, with as with all of these three bits, the build quality just feels, it just feels good. I don't hold this and think, oh, this isn't very nice. I, I don't hold this and think this feels really cheap. I hold it and go, yeah, okay, I see why I, I spent my money. This at the moment is costing around 35 pounds, which again, is probably more than I would want to pay. But again, they are very nice stands. I would probably want to pay more along the, the 25-ish mark myself, but I'm a little bit stingy here and there. So realistically, I would look to try and pay 30 pounds if I was you guys. Very much worth it. Very, very much worth it. I really recommend this gravity stands. I sort of, when I went to buy it, I was obviously the whole, is it just the hype? Is it just the name? Is it just the brand? But the more I've used them, the more I've got used to them, I really like them. I'm really, I'm really impressed with just the quality of all the products. They just do what they want to do and they work. And I, I can't fault that. So yeah, for me, thumbs up. I would give the bag, the bag's a solid 9 out of 10, maybe even a 10 out of 10 for me. The poles themselves, so yeah, the bag is a 9 because of the price. The poles, again, at an 8 or a 9 because of the price. The stands, again, 8 or a 9 because of the price. If they were a little bit cheaper, they'd go up to 9 10s. They're all fantastic. I've got no faults with them. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't me, you might say the green's a fault, but I like the green, so yeah. Obviously, guys, thank you so much. We just took you at me a little bit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always, talking about these things. If you have any questions about the polls, the subs, the polls, the bag, whatever, drop me a message, drop me a comment. We're going to have a chat. I can let you know. First time experience. Happy to answer any questions, as always, guys. Let me know. So, yeah, happy days. As always, guys, please do, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. Drop us a little subscribe, let, drop us a like, let us know how you found this video. And yeah, check out for more reviews, kind of the day in the life sort of stuff. Enjoy guys, have a wonderful week, bye bye.